Hi everyone. In this video, I will show how to create a value set based on the code system that was created in the previous video. So a, a, a value set is um, a, a set of values, sort of like an enumeration, not their definition, it's not like a dictionary, it's just a list of values that can be used in certain fields within the rest of the data model. So you define the value sets you need, and then you could choose to say this field uh, in one of the other resources can only contain a value from this value set. Um, if it's a fire resource, like uh, everything else. It's uh, There's a page for it in the terminology module value set here. And it has uh, the same basic uh, fields to identify the value set. And we'll look at we'll look at that. And then there is the compose field. It, this is where you define how to compose the values in your value set. You could th there are different options. The one we're using today is going to be basically on um, saying everything in the code system created is going to be included in this value set. So we'll set the system property to the URL of that code system. But um, the composition, uh, the sorry, the compose field can can include many include fields, so it's one or more, and the the um, combination of all the include entries forms the value set. Within a single include, you could have. A, uh, you could have a list of concepts. You could point to a code system and say you'd like to start with that code system and then include a subset of it. You could filter from that code system and you could include other value sets that are defined somewhere else included in this value set. So there's a, there's a rich way of defining your value sets. We're not going to go into details uh, in this video. We're just going to say we want all the codes from the code system. Okay. The expansion uh, top level field is where the set of values that are defined up here can be expanded. So the value set file will actually contain all the actual values itself, not just a definition of how to collect the values, it will actually expand the values. And we'll look at how this field gets populated as part of the IG build. So that these are the three main things I'll show in this video. It's going to be a relatively short compared to the previous one. So if we're back to our implementation guide files, this is the ig.json file. Uh, in the last video, I mentioned that we might need the auto load resources set to false, but actually that is the default setting for it. So I'm going to remove this. You don't need that. And I kind of explained what it is in the previous video, video a little bit. And I am going to include another resource and explain how this works, including resources in the last video. And I'm pointing to a value set, which is the type of thing we're creating. And this is going to be the ID for that value set, vs.ks. It sort of follows the same pattern, this ID. These IDs really could be uh, longer and more descriptive if you like. It's I, I'm just choosing to do it this way. Okay. So I went ahead and created the JSON file, the value set right here. Uh, the resource type is value set. The ID is vs-ks. Status is draft. Name is vs-ks. And title is, is the carry tip xx value set. And I'm using the compose field to include everything from that system. And the system, this URL, is from the code system, if you remember from the last video, we created it. So we're just pointing at that. And this value set gets a URL that ends with value set slash vs.ks. So this is all you need to do to, to define a value set that is based on a code system and include everything in it. You don't have to list the values. That's called an expansion, and I'll show how that works. Okay, so, <clears throat> so we have everything we need here. And if you run the IG publisher, you will um, 
you will see the results and let me try to pull that up here okay so now in our table of content page uh, the only page we have right now in the IG other than the automatically generated pages for the resources that we're defining. Now we have both the value set and the code system. So if I click on the value set page, you'll see it has sort of similar information to the code system. It's giving the basic information for it here. It is listing the meaning of our um, compose description, the includes we said. So it says includes all codes defined in this code system right here. If I click on that, it'll take us to the code system page that I created in the last video. If you have more uh, detailed description of how, how this value set is defined, there will be more inf information here. Then it shows the expansion and it says this value set contains one concept. It shows the concept. This is this, this uh, code which comes from the concept in the code system is included in this value set. And that's really about it for, for creating a value set, the simple one. If we look at the JSON form of it, you'll see just like in the code system, it has the same fields uh, I entered and, <clears throat> excuse me, and it adds few, uh, few additional default ones. Okay. So, and if you click on the download here, it will just download this file for you, or you could look at it in the raw JSON form. Okay, so this is the value set definition, and there's an expansion of it here to, to look at on this HTML page, but you would also like to have an expanded form of it in JSON. So let's look at something that gets built as part of the IG build. So this is the output folder. If we scroll to the top, you'll see several files for the code system. So the so this file here is the uh, the homepage for that code system that we looked at earlier. This is the JSON HTML. So this shows us the JSON. Um, let me drag it up here so you could see it. So so this one that has uh, and I'm trying to walk through some of the output files so you kind of get some some sense of what the IG creates. So I opened the code system. We created the JSON.html. And if I show you what it is, it's this one. It's where the, the JSON is embedded in the HTML page in the, in the IG template. If I, if you scroll down to the bottom alphabetically, you'll see the value sets are at the end alphabetically. And you could see a few pages for the value sets that uh, I just created. So this one is the home page for the value set that uh, I was showing a minute ago. And here, if you go back up to the expansion area, so there is an expansion, a plural expansions.json. If I open this and I'm going to open it in uh, my usual editor that I use here, I'm going to show the expansions.json file so I could look at that. Okay. And it's right here. But this is the expansions JSON file. It looks a little bit different. So uh, let me walk through this a little bit. This is a fire resource, but it's the resource type is bundle. A bundle is a collection of other resources. So within it, we have entries under the resource field. We have um, under entry, you have an array of resources. This one is the value set URL. You see it right here, the full URL. And then you have the resource itself in here. But because this is the expansions JSON file, what you get in here, you get the expanded value. So if you notice, you have the usual fields to identify the value set, but you have the expansion field instead of the compose field. And in the expansion field, uh, th this was generated, this expansion is generated during the build. It says, uh, it gives you the date the expansion was done. It gives it a unique random identifier. Um, 
it shows you what parameters were used during the expansion. Um, so the nested uh, concepts, if there were any, were not excluded. Uh, you could control this if you want to. Um, and the name of the a name and the, the version parameter. So there is a there is a way to specify which version um, you're using when you're pointing at something with a URL. You could append the version to it to be specific to version, but we're, don't worry about that for now. But focus on the expansion contains an array of objects, and each object is a code. So this, you have the code, you have the display, and the system it came from. So you'll you'll have the full list of expanded values under the contains field in this array. So this again, this is available in the expansions.json file that will include expansions of all value sets in your implementation guide. And the reason uh, they create this is that they assume there are tools that will just want to retrieve this file from the website when it when a new version is published to use it for like data entry autocomplete and drop down menus and so forth so there is a uh, there is this expansion.json there is uh, the zipped version of it so more condensed file and there are, there's an xml version uh, of this so there's expansion xml and this is you see it here the expansion is right here and the contain is right here, and this is one entry right here. So you have an XML version of this. There is also a, a turtle version of this, if you're familiar with that format. And that one looks like it has to be, um, no, they actually, sorry, they don't create a turtle version of the expansions. Okay, never mind. Okay, so uh, we quickly saw how to create, how to define. A value set it's very simple in, in this example and and we looked at the generated html and the expanded files so that uh, that covers uh this video i'll see you in the next one we'll uh, in the next video we'll use this value set to constrain a field in an observation Please like and subscribe if you find these videos useful. It will encourage me to keep going and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you're interested in next. And if there's anything I could do to improve the content or the quality of these videos. Also, at some point, check out some of these uh, resources listed here. They're still work in progress, and I will have a follow-up video to describe them. Keep in mind that this content is for educational purposes. There are no guarantees of accuracy and completeness, and you should use at your own risk. You might be seeing a few YouTube cards on the screen. Uh, they are suggested next videos or related playlists.